18-year-old Francisco Erwin Galicia is an American citizen, but he was still detained for nearly four weeks by immigration authorities who just didn't believe him, who didn't believe his documents, who didn't believe his lawyer. He was released on Tuesday of this week. Because Francisco spent almost all of his life in Mexico, he felt more comfortable doing his first live TV, well, taped TV interview in Spanish. I spoke with him yesterday night through a translator. And here with me now is that American citizen, Francisco Erwin Galicia. Uh, Francisco, first, I want to ask how you are feeling now that you are out of detention. No, well, much better after all the suffering that I lived. Now, being able to be next to my mother, I feel much better. The truth is, it's the ability to be free. Can you describe a little bit of what it was like inside detention, what the conditions were like, the food you received, the ability to shower or brush your teeth or things like that? About my experience, we went through something inhumane. All of us that were in that detention center, there, we couldn't bathe or brush our teeth. Nothing. You didn't have anything. The only thing that they would give us from time to time to clean ourselves were wipes. We would wipe ourselves, but the dirt would stay, unable to come off our skin. They wouldn't clean us. And those wipes, they would give them to us every once in a while, every seven days maybe, or every three days, but we wouldn't shower. What kind of um, room were, were you in? It was a small room, super small for the amount of people there. We were about 60 people in one small room that we would call the freezer because, well, it's really cold with one single bathroom for all those people, without beds or anything. And we would sleep on the floor. In the bathroom, what separated the bathroom was a wall about this high. It didn't cover anything. The room was so small that there were people sleeping in the bathroom. So we would take turns to be able to sleep. People sleeping on the floor, sleeping in the bathroom. It was very cold. You had blankets. It was crowded. 60 people in the room. Did, um, what? How, you were there for three weeks in that facility? I spent 23 days in that place. And from there, they brought me to Pearsall, Texas, to a bigger center for the detained nationals. Uh, there I was there for around three, four days. And I read that you lost 26 pounds? Yes, I lost around 26 pounds when I was in that detention center in Falfurias. The 23 days without eating well. The truth is, no one ate well. Because it wasn't only me. There were many that suffered that. I want to uh, talk about what happened when you were apprehended, but one more question about the conditions. Um, were other folks that, that were in there with you, had they been there for long periods of time like yourself? Yes, there were people there for some 30 days, including one for 43 days. There were people who were there way more time than me. I, I was there 23 days. There were people who had been there for a much longer time. You were apprehended at a border checkpoint with your brother. Your brother does not have papers. You do. You had them in your uh, wallet. You had a birth certificate, a social security card, a Texas ID. Um, when you presented them at the checkpoint, what did they say to you when you said, I'm a U.S. citizen? In the moment when I showed my identifications and everything, they said that the documents were false, that I was not an American citizen, and they didn't believe me. I would tell them after showing them all my documents that I was an American citizen, and they would still not trust what I said. And so, they then decided to lock me up. 
So just so people understand, because you're speaking to me in Spanish, you were born in Dallas, you're a U.S. citizen, you lived most of your life in Mexico, recently came back to the United States after being uh, born here, and there were some papers, you had a travel visa, there were some papers that raised their suspicion. But today, an official with the U.S. Immigration Services, the CBP, said that you never told them you were a U.S. citizen. Is he telling the truth? From the first moment that I presented myself at the checkpoint, I always said that I was an American citizen, and I showed my documents. They even charged me because they said my papers were falsified. And I have proof because they, they contradict themselves because they charged me for supposedly falsifying my citizenship when I am a citizen here. It doesn't make sense what they're saying. Did you worry when you were in detention that you would be there forever, that no one would believe you? Yes. The truth is I felt fear that they would not believe me and that they would leave me there for a much longer time. Being that I was able to prove it to them and they still didn't believe me. Yes, I felt fear that they were going to deport me even, because it was so much, the pressure they put on me to sign the deportation order that at a certain point I was about to sign it, because there was so much pressure that I sign it. Can you, can you describe what that, the pressure to sign to deport yourself, what, was that, what is that pressure like? What do you mean? What did they say to you? Well, they would, it was, it was more psychological. They said they were going to charge me, that they would insult me so that I would sign my deportation order, and, well, it was all psychological damage. All that so they could pressure me to sign it, telling me they were going to charge me free felonies that I would go to jail, all that, that it's better for me to sign. It was like they were going to deport me anyway. When finally they came to release you, did anyone there say, we're sorry that we made this mistake? No, no, no one. They just called me and said, get your stuff together. You're leaving. I got my things together. They gave me my clothes, what I brought on me. And then the moment my lawyer got there and the media was outside, they told me, there's your lawyer, you can go, go with her, nothing, not one apology, nothing. Uh, for people that think it's important for there to be very strong borders, border patrol, border checkpoints, to be tough uh, on people that don't have papers that are in this country, um, is there something you want to say to them about what happened to you and your experience? Don't be so inhumane. Here, under God's eyes, we're all people. We all deserve the same respect and the same treatment, regardless of your nationality. We all deserve the same respect. We're all people. Uh, Francisco Galicia, thank you so much for taking time. I'm so glad that you're out, and uh, be well. Many thanks. With all my heart, I really appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.